Hello dear students today we'll do the multiple choice questions of class 5th of lesson 4 these mcqs are taken from the book practice exercises based on learning outcomes let's start question number 1 put the correct sign so the fraction given is 210 by 1000 and on other side the decimal form is 0.210 its four options are given in which different signs are given and we have to tick the correct sign first of all students let's convert the given fraction into decimal form so that we can compare the values for that to convert fraction into decimal first of all change the denominator into 10 100 or 1000 and then write the numerator but in the given fraction denominator is already 1000 so we'll write the numerator and then how many number of zeros are there in denominator we'll leave that many digits from right to left and put the decimal point so the decimal value we get is 0.210 which is equal to another decimal value which is given so we'll put the equal to sign which is given in option c so our option c is the correct answer so let's tick the option c question number 2 is which fraction or decimal number is represented by the following grid so dear students four options are given and we have to choose the correct option so first of all let's find the fraction from the grid So the total parts of the grid are ten. So denominator is ten, and the colored parts are two. So the numerator is two. So two by ten is the fraction. And now we'll change it into decimal form. So first we'll write the numerator, and then how many zeros are there in the denominator? By leaving that many digits from right to left, we will place the decimal point. So one zero is there. So by leaving one digit from right to left, we'll put the decimal point, and we will get zero point two as the value. So two by ten and zero point two is given in which option? Yes, in option B. So let's tick the option B. Next question number three is: In which value eight is at tenth position? Here four values are given. and in all values the position of 8 is different so we'll use the place value chart in which we understood that after decimal from left to right the first place is represented as 1 by 10 and its place value is tenths means 0.1 similarly two place backward digit is represented as 1 by 100 and its place value is hundreds means 0.01 now let's see it is in which value at first place after decimal point and it's in option b so let's tick the option b next question number 4 is which decimal number represents the number of apples so again four options are given and we have to choose the correct answer So first let's form the fraction and then we'll change it into decimal form. So we have total fruits 4. So denominator is 4 and number of apples are 3. So the numerator is 3. So by 3 by 4 is the fraction of apples. And now we have to change the denominator into 10, 100 or 1000 form. and for that we'll multiply the numerator and denominator with 25 so the new fraction formed is on multiplying 3 by 25 we get 75 which is the numerator and on multiplying 4 by 25 we get 100 which is the denominator so 75 by 100 is the fraction now we'll change it into decimal form and for that we will write the numerator 75 as it is and from right to left by leaving two digits we'll put the decimal point so the decimal form of 75 by 100 is 
zero point seven five. And dear students, it's given in which option? Yes, it's given in option D. So let's take the option D. Now, dear students, it's time for your homework. And your homework is to note down all these questions neatly in your notebooks. Bye, bye, students. We'll meet in the next video.